Mmm. Mmm. Ah, a good cup of coffee in the morning. All right, great. Now, okay. It looked to me like we may be in the lockdown till next Wednesday, sounds like. So, that means I, I'm going to did say yet to blog. I'm dropping a blog today. Well, yeah, this is the last Good Morning Coffee blog I've been going to be doing in a series here because, uh, you know, even though this may going to continue this weekend into to end on this time next week when this will be the last day next week. So I'm not going to say anything because I did say that and, of course, Doug Ford that cuts me down again. Put the brakes on everything, and so I can't do anything. Now, uh, what really annoys me about this too is, even though the, the lockdown will be over, you know what? It can be so much more restrictions than ever before. If I have restrictions in lockdown, they're gonna have more restrictions when lockdown ends. So, I mean, that get me really worried now because I don't know what the new restrictions are gonna be. And nobody gives me answers. I can't get an answer from Paul Miller, NDP here. I know. I'm trying to find out, too, about what he meant. He says, if the variant comes into community health report variant, well, I now I have to put the brakes on. Boom. What, you know, that mean? What do you, what that mean? One person gets a variant, the whole area gets shut down? Whole freaking um, health unit gets shut down over a, somebody variant. What does that mean? I can't figure this out. Nobody give me any answers. I've been asking, getting no answers. I mean, I just wonder if somebody may out on YouTube now could some of you out there heard this yesterday on Doug Ford Mountain, Ontario, and give me some clarity on this, you know. And let me know what and how it is, and give me send me an email on this. You don't have, have to, but I'd like to know what the like and clarity on this, because you know it's really you know not clear in what he said there, you know. So I don't. I mean, you know, bad enough that he, a guy's very Doug Ford got vindictive behavior. <laughs> Some people for I know I know a friend of mine complained I have vindictive behavior. You know, but he said, Ford, he said, so the friend judged me on it. I mean, I, I mean Doug Ford had a vindictive behavior like that too. Like, it's like, my God. And people moved, people, ignorant people, I mean, out there, I mean, it's getting me dangerous going shopping. To, yes, <clears throat> yes, they're standing in line, minding my bitch, just waiting. To get into a buy something at no frill. So I'm in line, I'm waiting patiently. And some asshole, you know, comes in there, raises up a rips into the line, and then I and some people are lying to told me, Don't you have to do that I don't know. Well the person who cobook he told me, Go to the back of light I put I don't have to. You know, I don't come to know, like, if. I mean, that is ignorance right there. I've seen people. The other day on Sunday, some idiot cut right in front of a boss just to go into Franco No Frill, just to do the parking lot there, Queenston Plaza, Place Plaza, like, God. And that proved me on the floor, and I almost, and I, and I thought I had a, and I had a very sore back, I got bruised on my leg from falling off for sleep bus or somebody idiot do that. Another idiot rips around four lanes of traffic, rip drives over a freaking concrete, you know, in the middle of the Queens Road, just to go Frankos. Oh my god, you know. You know how freaking stupid did that person do? And what that person did is he ripped in the other lane and rips into Franco that way. And then you know, Goes in the wrong lane, going totally the wrong way, just getting an overall. And no cops there, give me a ticket. These are two incidents that one that almost put me in the hospital because I, my back was sore, I had a breath, and I was, oh my God. 
I thought I fractured a rib from that fall like, on a bus. I didn't. Oh. But this is what happening. You're getting a lot of aggressive drivers, especially from a COVID-19 aggressiveness in operating. So I don't know what is happening here, but it's happening. So honestly, I hopefully that you, hopefully if you don't drive aggressively, because this has gone on really stupid. I've been in London, Ontario. I've never seen so many, I don't see that many aggressive drivers. In Hamilton, I see a lot more. It's like run red light just to go, just to go get something at the store. Oh, that's stupid. Aggressive drivers. You no. Know, this is the last blog I'm doing for a Good Morning Coffee blog series. So don't be looking for one tomorrow morning or any time in the future. I might do a blog on uh, maybe next week on a, on, a, on next week maybe that only if you know businesses are going to be open. Uh, only if things are going to be colorful level and clarity, yeah. But otherwise, I'm probably not going to do any more blogs after this one. So this is a farewell blog. Thank you for listening to my morning coffee blogs. So hopefully, God bless you. Have a wonderful and productive week. Whatever you got left, I mean, I what you got left for your future because you don't have it here in Ontario anymore. But Doug Ford at helm. I'd rather Andy Horvath be at helm and Doug Ford. Anyway, blog over.